Okay, everybody. Hey, welcome to Curriculum Night. Uh, my name is Eric Nelson. I'm the chemistry teacher here at Seabury Academy. I hope to meet all of you out there who I haven't met already. Uh, I've been at the school since 2003. Um, I have my daughter is actually in our chemistry class this uh, this year, so um, I'm sure that she'll be providing me constant feedback on how I'm doing as the teacher in the class. And i um, looking forward to meeting all your kids uh, once we go back to um, in school uh, on September the 8th. But uh, in the meantime, this is the best we can do. Um, I have been teaching at Seabury Academy since 2003. I've taught biology and chemistry and eighth grade science over the years. Uh, so um, I hope to meet everybody who I have. So just to get started, um, um, my chemistry class is a, uh, a fundamentals chemistry course. Uh, I call it the greatest hits of chemistry. Uh, we study topics that can be found in the course catalog of almost every major university in freshman chemistry. Uh, some of the topics of note, um, we, we will study atomic structure, we study bonding, um, we study uh, the periodic table at great length. Um, we'll have the gas laws, we have thermodynamics, uh, stoichiometry, uh, reaction rates, we'll have an organic unit. Uh, we'll also do a radiation unit, which is kind of fun. Uh, and then um, acids, bases, uh, oxidation reduction. So it really is, um, it's definitely a survey course and the kids are exposed to a, a, just a large array of, of topics in chemistry. Um, I feel like uh, when our alums come back from, from their freshman year, when they visit, they always, they, or, or most often tell me, they say, hey, it was good to have been introduced to redox in high school. That made it so much more easy to understand in my general chemistry course at, at, at the state university level. So um, it's a good college prep class, I feel like. I've been doing it for, for quite a few years with pretty good results, and um, I look forward to teaching your child this, this year. So. Um, okay, so <clears throat> let's see. So what can I talk about? So um, some of the foundational skills that I hope to, uh, you know, work with the students on uh, include um, proficiency in the laboratory setting. Uh, what, what the kids will do in my classes is, is a really extensive lab curriculum. Um, and I'll go over the day-to-day -day schedule, but um, it's my hope that when they when they get finished with chemistry that they can transfer those lab skills to any lab course that they take. Um, I don't water down labs. Uh, they do, you know, labs from a bunch of different sources, including several college type AP labs, even though they're just sophomores uh, and um, some complexity there that I think really lends itself to the kids, um, you know, being comfortable in the lab. When they go to college, they're, they won't be intimidated in the lab they'll have handled some chemicals. They'll have had open flame, a bunch of open flame with all the burners. They'll, they'll have uh, a real opportunity to get their hands in and um, take advantage of our, of our lab space. So that's a big part of it. They will also uh, understand a couple of things. Safety is a primary concern, of course, in a chemistry lab. Um, I'm no nonsense. I think my reputation uh, as being a, a person who really cares about safety in the, in the lab, especially, uh, is, is well known. And there will be no funny business in the labs, but uh, um, also responsibility and professionalism and, and uh, just, just kind of a, a general attitude of, of personal responsibility. That's one of the things that I try to teach the kids. And um, they're, I'm not an excuse make, maker, uh, nor, you know, I, I try not to, um, I try to encourage kids not to make excuses, just to, to get in there and get the job done. So uh, those are some of the foundational uh, skills that I hope to teach the, the class this year. Um, okay, so a general outline, what does the week look like if you're a student in the class? Um, it it kind of goes like this, and I try to stay with it if I can, but generally on Mondays and Tuesdays, we have a new material introduction and new material uh, presentation. And that means either a little bit of lecture, uh, try to keep that to a minimum, but um, we use um, these inquiries that are like a student-based uh, 
content uh, delivery method and uh, the kids get new material on Mondays and Tuesdays. Uh, on Wednesday is a day where if I'm, if I'm, uh, if I'm gonna have a quiz or a test or some sort of a written evaluation, it will come on Wednesdays and uh, try to stick to that so the students know that if it's Wednesday, there's a chance that they have a quiz and um, almost all the time it's an announced quiz. I don't pop it on them very often, but Wednesday's a day for quizzes. On Thursdays and Fridays, um, Mr. Gollier and I, uh, in the history program and the chemistry program, they're they're back to back. So um, we use double periods. Uh, so I can um, take, well, it goes like this, a third hour chemistry student on Thursday comes to chemistry for both third and fourth hour. And so that is an 84 minute block and the student then gets to start and then do the lab and finish the lab and write it up all in one, uh, one time block. And it's, it's very much a benefit to the chemistry lab. Um, then if a fourth hour chemistry student has chemistry two times on Fridays, and of course, Mr. Gallier has the opposite. So uh, it's, a, it's a good situation. Labs are Thursdays and Fridays in my class and um, will be double period, uh, double period for those two days. Okay, so uh, I've gone over the day-to-day -day schedule. That's the lab set up. Um, you know, some of the things, uh, what, what, what do you look forward to in my class? Uh, I love doing demonstrations for the students um, as much as I can, especially those Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, I'll try to have demos. Uh, this, this, the first couple of times here on Zoom, it, 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 it doesn't have quite the effect, but uh, thus far I've done nitric acid reacts with a penny. And if you're, uh, if you remember from your chemistry lab uh, experience, you know, copper and nitric acid together make uh, a, a really um, uh, visible red, you know, toxic cloud. And I tell a story while I'm doing it about a, a, this, uh, famous chemist who, who mixes these two items together and creates this red cloud and then starts to suffocate and immediately grabs the penny and then starts to burn his fingers. And he's like, ah, you know, the nitric acid's burning my hand. And then he wipes it on his pants. And then of course the next day his pants have a hole in them. So um, he learned all about the reactivity of nitric acid uh, in that lab. And that's the, the first demo I, that we did. Uh, and so every day it's something different with me. I try to try to mix it up quite a bit and keep them guessing. Uh, we did the potassium permanganate um, volcanic fountain, uh, which is a big purple sparks, uh, very fun reaction. Um, I have a potato can and that I'll, I'll break out. The kids will, well, they'll will launch a potato uh, in the backyard here. It's kind of fun to do. Um, oh, just one thing after another. Um, it's, it's really, it's fun to do. And, um, uh, so labs are a big part and demos are a big part of my class to try to keep them active. Um, and let's see. Okay, so uh, nuts, nuts and bolts, other things. Um, if you're a parent who is, uh, you know, the, the, the way that the, the grading works in my class, if you're, if you're curious, um, I, I hold to equal footing basically tests and quizzes and, and lab work. So those two items are, are like the two-headed monster for your grade. And... Uh, it is my sincere hope that, you know, the lab work, uh, most kids are really adept and really into it. They, they like doing it. Um, and writing up a lab is, is, you know, primarily an effort exercise. If they can just take the time to write it out in a, in a coherent fashion, those grades are generally like, hey, they did it. You know, that's a full credit option for them. And um, um, so um, I will encourage the kids very strongly, and I hope you will help me with, with that, to be a high achiever in the labs and make sure that you're not giving back any points in the lab. I mean, do the labs, do them at a high level, and then do your darndest on the test. The tests are, it's chemistry. I mean, it's not easy chemistry, it's chemistry. The tests have teeth and, um, you know, kids will have to prepare. So uh, those two items are the, the lion's share of the grade in my class. Um, there is homework approximately two times per week. That will be higher some weeks and lower other weeks probably. Um, I am also in athletics. Those of you that know me uh, know that there are some long hours. And if you know our volleyball program, for example, uh, some of the sophomores play and they get home at 10 p.m. It's very, very um, hard for me as the AD since I get home at the same time to, to have extensive homework each and every night of the week. Uh, I try to be a little bit sensitive to their, their 
um, their time outside of my class. Uh, suffice to say, when, it, when a student walks into the class, as soon as the, the bell rings, um, we go hard, hard, hard till, till the end and usually over. I try to, <laughs> I need to be reminded about the clock occasionally, but uh, uh, it's, a, it's a full go and fun, active uh, learning environment in here and uh, it's, it's fun, it's fun. So um, I hope that's the report you get at home. I'm excited for um, some in-person teaching. Um, of course, chemistry is best, best done in a, in a hands-on setting and hopefully we'll be able to make that work. Okay, so uh, I don't think I have anything further at this point. Um, my, uh, my email is my name, Eric Nelson at seabarryacademy.org. Please feel free to uh, email if you have any concerns or questions or, or if you are a chemist and you wanna come and speak to the class or you, uh, for whatever reason, if you have uh, positive things or constructive stuff that you can help me with, uh, that would be fine. Uh, Eric Nelson at seabarryacademy.org. Uh, my cell phone is available upon request if you, if you need to call me. Um, I do get email. Uh, and I try to get back within 24 hours if possible. Uh, sometimes the athletics calendar is difficult, but I do my best. Um, you can always call or stop by. I'm at the school as much as anybody around. So, uh, um, okay, so I think that's it for now. Um, this, was, this has been the sophomore chemistry uh, curriculum night explanation. I hope you got uh, a couple of things to think about and kind of a little feel for how the class is going to go. But uh, I want you to have a good uh, rest of the day. And thank you very much for, your, for watching and thanks for entrusting your kids to uh, Seabury Academy. Thanks.